Are you all right? Flora! Don't eat me! <laughs> Why, you must be Piglet. Christopher Robin, may I play the part of the very small animal who hides under his bed? Hello, today we are here to talk about someone who has been affected by generalized anxiety disorder since 1926. A disorder that affects nearly 6.8 million, 3.1% of the U.S. population every year. This person has been in movies, books, and several television series. Piglet. Piglet, the beloved little pig in the striped shirt from the Winnie the Pooh series, displays a personality that can be diagnosed as generalized anxiety disorder. <gasps> but first, before we can begin discussing Piglet any further, let's provide a little more background information about the nature of this disorder. Generalized anxiety disorder can be described as excessive anxiety in worry, which occurs for at least six months over a number of events and activities. A person dealing with generalized anxiety disorder will often find it difficult to control any worry that they may be experiencing, especially during unfamiliar or new situations. Oh, and I have come to take you camping. C -c -c camping? Yep. The great outdoors beckons. <laughs> Nature is calling. Uh, Pooh, uh, Tigger, I don't know. My house might miss me. Oh, come on, Piglet, old pal. We're going to have Oodle the fun. We'll build a campfire. And eat honey. And roast marshmallows. And eat honey. And best of all, eat honey? No, sleeping under the wide open skies. But what about the... Half a lumps and woozles. Oh, let them find their own campfire. Uh, no, I meant, well, although I've never actually met one, I hear they're very f f f fierce. Piglet often displays moments of difficulty concentrating, being easily fatigued, and although it may not have been clear, it is easy to see how Piglet could also suffer with muscle tension. All three of these are considered symptoms for GAD. There are other symptoms that are involved with generalized anxiety disorder, and only three are necessary in order to be diagnosed as an adult, although only one is necessary to be diagnosed as a child. Other symptoms include restlessness, irritability, and sleep disturbance. The heffalumps and woozles have got me. No, I'm not coming out. It, it's too dangerous for such very small animals in all that very large wind. Uh, but, but you can't stay under there forever, Piglet. See? I can do this! Oh. <laughs> well, it's very nice of you to go out of your way to welcome us. <laughs> ah! The toll that this disorder can take on a person can be a devastating and long-lasting one. Compared to the other anxiety disorders, individuals with generalized anxiety disorder tend to display higher levels of social and occupational impairments throughout their daily lives. Come on, Piglet, we need you. Oh, I can't really. I, 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 I have to mow my lawn. But Piglet, it's winter. Well, there's no, no, no use waiting until the last minute. Who, who, who is it? It's a telegram for Piglet. But Piglet who? The Piglet who lives at this house and is hiding under his chair. <laughs> Jake! Piglet, do you want to come out and play? But, but, but P Piglet's not at home. If Piglet's not at home, then who am I talking to? No one. Anxiety and worry is not specific to any one Axis 1 disorder, such as fear of embarrassment might be seen with social phobia or a fear of contamination with obsessive compulsive disorder. The anxiety, worry, and physical symptoms can cause clinically significant distress or impairment in social, occupational, or other important areas of functioning. Piglet is oftentimes the one who is discouraging adventures or anything that could result in something that he perceives as unpleasant happening to him or his friends. Mmm, delectable. Oh, anyone feel like going home yet? Don't be ridiculous, Piglet. <laughs> the ice seems particularly cold today. Perhaps if I waited till it got warmer? Hurry up, Piglet! You're <laughs> missing all the fun. The disturbance that is seen in generalized anxiety disorder is not due to the direct physiological effects of any substance, such as the drug abuse of any kind or any kind of medications or a general medical condition. 
JAD does not occur exclusively in a mood disorder, a psychotic disorder, or a pervasive developmental disorder. In addition to the symptoms that have already been mentioned, people with GAD can also experience several other types of psychological and physiological symptoms. These additional symptoms can include trembling that can most commonly be seen in the extremities, nervous twitching, which is often displayed by Piglet throughout all of his adventures, feeling shaky, and muscle soreness, which can come as a result of the high amount of tension that the person may be experiencing. They can also experience somatic symptoms, such as sweating, hot flashes, nausea, and an exaggerated startle response. Symptoms of autonomic hypoarousal, like rapid heart rate, shortness of breath, and dizziness are not as common as in other anxiety disorders, such as panic disorder and post-traumatic stress disorder, but can be seen. Monster movie? I thought we were going to go see a c -c 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 cartoon certainly has a nice sm 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 smile, hasn't it? <laughs> Yikes! Ooh. Ooh. Remember, Piglet, it's only a movie. It's only a movie. It's only a movie. It's only a m m movie. It... What is it, Pooh? Hey, look, you guys. Refreshment. Wait here, Piglet. I'll be right back. Oh, boy, I hope those guys hurry. We don't want to miss the part of the movie where the monster reached the whole city. The whole city? Oh, uh, perhaps we should move to the country. Nah, wouldn't matter. Sometimes movie monsters eat whole countries and spit out the pits. They do? do, do, do? Oh, no! Oh. Hey, guys! Come find me. Yikes! Oh, don't worry, Piglet. Popcorn can't hurt you. Oh, no, Pooh. It's the big monsters. I, uh, well, they don't like me. Aww. When it comes to the quality of their lives, people with GAD tend to display decreases that are comparable to those with physical illnesses such as diabetes, hypertension, and congestive heart failure. Persons with GAD also tend to have much higher number of visits and cost of visits to physicians annually to those without anxiety. Stunningly, over half of patients diagnosed with IBS have comorbid GAD diagnoses, most of which go undiagnosed. It is not totally clear as to what causes GAD. And while GAD has never been fully proven to run in a family, that does not disregard genetics as playing some role. There does seem to also be a pattern with people who have GAD and people who have found themselves in numerous situations that they were not able to have any kind of control of. And while everyone else who does not have GAD views it as over-worrying, people who are experiencing this disorder view it as a way of preparing for catastrophe, a motivating device, or as a way of escaping from deeper existing emotions. than before. It's no use. The only safe place is under my chair. There are two different types of treatment available for generalized anxiety disorder, psychotherapy and pharmacology, with the most effective treatment for thorough and long-term results being psychotherapy in the form of cognitive behavioral therapy. In terms of medication as a form of treatment, the two primary classes of drugs that are used are benzodiazepines and antidepressants, with benzodiazepines such as alprazolam, and lorazepam, it has been found that although they are effective at treating generalized anxiety in the short term, they are discouraged for treatment in long term. Yeah, all you needed was a little practice then. <laughs> and a little confidence. Isn't it wonderful that I became such a very fine skater just as... Uh, just as... Just as the spring thaw sets in. In the end, it cannot be said if Piglet will ever get help dealing with the disorder that he has been dealing with for 87 years, but at least it can be said that if he does ever want treatment, that there are options available to him.